about whether to expand the aluminium industry still further has pitted environmentalists against the government. From Iceland, Nick Hyam reports. A 15-ton block of pure aluminium rises from a smelter near Iceland's capital Reykjavik. The first aluminium plant was built in Iceland in the 1960s, attracted by the country's huge reserves of geothermal energy and hydroelectric power. Raw alumina is shipped here from all over the world. In this plant, it comes all the way from Texas. Iceland has three of these huge plants already. There's a fourth under construction and there's talk of a fifth. But environmentalists are opposed to further expansion of the aluminium industry. And some people say Iceland should be careful about putting too many of its eggs in an aluminium basket. Since the banking crisis a year ago, Iceland's economy has crashed. For the government, aluminium represents one route out of the economic doldrums. Our aluminium industry is still going to be very important for us. Very important. And it's a big portion of our export. And uh, you also have uh, possibilities in innovation and, and even more further processing of the, of the aluminium here in Iceland. And this is something which we are uh, looking at these days, opportunities in that area. Plants like this, a kilometre long, use huge amounts of energy. 70% of all the electricity Iceland produces. But critics say the industry does too much environmental damage, not least by shipping raw materials and the finished product huge distances. One green activist told me now is a good time for Iceland to think again. There is this constant, constant talk now in Iceland about renewing our values and building up a new society and um, building up new way of, of uh, organising and living. And I think if there is ever a time to bring in radical uh, environmentalist ideas, it's now. So Iceland faces a familiar choice between what's good for the economy and what's good for the environment, a choice made more acute by the current crisis. Nick Hyam, BBC News, Reykjavik.